Hey guys, welcome to Sanfolio. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're talking about the new latest release from Latafa on their Body of Oud side. So this one is called Sublime. So feeling red and let's get into it. Excellent presentation as always. You know how they do it, you know with their standard box, um, with their standard uh, design, pretty much copying Initial. Let's find out if this is another uh, clone to Initial line and uh, see if we can crack this. So basically this red, nice jammy, like a red raspberry jammy bottle uh, with the standard um, design inspired by Initial Performs. Uh, we've got Latafa logo there at the back and pretty standard gold plate with a bit of details here at the bottom. All right, so this is pretty heavy as we all know how, how they do it. And nice cap in place, pretty solid bottle, sublime here in, in the, you know, in the end. So what this is all about what is what, what is this guy saying let's find out so basically i did a full wear actually i've been wearing this for two days and trying to get to the bottom of this <clears throat> i do have some good information that i collected because i was comparing this <clears throat> and i was also comparing this with the uh, with infinity infinity rose again by mason alhamra this guy which is actually a clone, a neck-to-neck -neck clone of Atomic Rose. And obviously you can't, you know, you need to have an OG to compare uh, the clones. So I got this little Deacon from uh, one of my uh, friends here in downtown Toronto, Patrice. Thank you, Patrice, for arranging this Deacon for me. If, uh, if you're watching this video, uh, for helping me out later at night. <clears throat> All right. so. This guy, by the way, it also comes up with this nice looking, um, you know, kind of like a, a mini card. And then we, we have a couple of details here for this about the scent with the, with the, uh, with the notes. Um, and then uh, that's the outer uh, cover. That's the back cover, the little tough logo. <clears throat> I couldn't see it online, the, the notes for this. I don't think it's been listed as yet in the, frag, you know, Fragrantica. But um, we'll talk about the notes. Well, actually, let's begin with the notes. Uh, and then I can tell you what the main accords are and what I got from this guy. Uh, top notes, lychee, rose, and apple. Now this opens up sparkly. That would be the right word, not citrusy, because uh, I don't really find anything citrusy here, but yes, sparkly. And, um, you know, something, some, some drink, some sparkly drink with the bubbles going on top and, and that fizziness that you feel um, is, is something that you can relate to a good scent in this weather an absolute spring a spring summer banger good in that sparkly sense it's i would say it's a fresh start right on top what you get is lychee um and actually what i got was lychee and apple i did not got get the rose right on top there is some nuances of rose but they're not loud or king or beastly in the beginning, in the opening of this guy. This guy is good on lychee note, very good on lychee note. Actually, one of the best, I would say, the kind of a note that they've used for lychee does not look or feel synthetic. There is no alcohol opening right on top. It does not feel um, anything synthetic or chemicalized. Bodil Oud, Amethyst. In the beginning, yes, I found it to be a little synthetic and, uh, you know, kind of like chemicalized for the first 
five or ten minutes <clears throat> and then it just matures and, and, and grows to be an amazing scent although that is not a neck to neck clone of atomic rose um take my word for that because i did a testing with the og here and we've, we've all gone wrong if 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 have been saying that or if it, they're considering that to be a, a cologne of atomic rose another topic another discussion for another time back to this guy um so yeah i got in the in the beginning good on lychee reminded me of uh, like a lychee lychee fruity juice i used to drink back in the days my school days back home uh but anyways um <clears throat> yeah very tropically very red so in the beginning in the opening the many f it's it's a fruity start let's let's put it this way and the, all the fruits that i uh, can point out are pretty red bright red fruits here so uh, think about raspberries think about cherries think about lychee think about red apple and a bit of like a and all these fruits having their grounds uh dipped in the rose water let's let's just put it that way so you get the fruity start you get a sweet start you get a sparkly start you get a fresh start and you pick on these fruitiness and mainly mainly um, the lychee and um, the apple now as the scent matures or uh progress it's 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 life journey i think the lychee is something that is gonna stay let's let's say for an hour and then take a back seat and then apple comes into play and that actually takes an hour two hours or so and then takes a back seat and then comes the rose in the high intensity so it gives a fruitiness a, a good chance this is a good on longevity scent a good chance to rise and shine in the beginning so the lychee that does its job then the apple does does its job um and then the and then the rose starts doing its job now when the half of the life of the scent is like maybe four to five hours are gone then comes the rose and the rose um it's it, here in the heart note it says jasmine plum Honestly, I can't really detect a plum unless you want to call that dense. There's something dense. Uh, honestly, I did not detect plum. I mean, plum is something that is I can easily ignore and live without when I, when I talk about this uh, scent profile. Um, jasmine, yes. Could, um, I mean, there are good floral notes because that is keeping the scent, you know, airy and bright and, you know, all that good but not not heavy not heavy at all there's nothing heavy this is pretty lightweight airy kind of a scent actually stays with you mostly airy scents are just gone you know within you know are short-lived but this actually stays with you in terms of longevity you will um, get those whiffs and you know different stuff it does it does a great job it does wonders actually um, based note we've got moss vanilla and patchouli now after like five or four to five hours of mark the rose starts to shine and to me i get some warmness from the rose which is in line with amber and vanilla so vanilla is there in the heart notes of this guy but yes with the rose rose vanilla amber is a beautiful combination anyways atomic rose has done this and dusted this and 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 done wonders and gained all the respect in the world with with with, with vanilla and amber being a part being a partner player to rose i was doing this testing side by side all all these three closest bangers and trying to kind of like figure out where is this leaning this scent after five hours leans towards atomic rose to 85 to 90 percent now this is a claim that i'm making but atomic rose 
it comes closer but again there is that 15 to 10 percent of difference because um this is more ambery and more high on vanilla let's put it this way because this is something atomic rose uh, is, is something that you're gonna you're gonna have a blast off vanilla and amber or at least vanilla vanilla with rose right from the beginning like right when you spray this this off like after like five minutes of you know settling down you will get that vanilla ambery feeling you will get that density to the rose that, that it's it's high on density which you actually get on infinity so this is i would say a pretty 90 95 percent closer to this atomic um the rose guy so in this guy you will feel that you know similar similarity but in this guy not on top not until four to five hours but after after then you will actually start you know because the rose when rose comes up it just brings amber and vanilla at the same time which i get or which i although amber is not listed here instead patchouli and mosses um however that is what i get <clears throat> this is good on longevity this combination of rose amber and vanilla which i get stays up until good three to four hours so overall this is good on longevity scent which actually stays with you for i would say eight nine hours safely um but then i did like what six or seven sprays I, I you know i went crazy on my arms and my back on my you know chest and shoulders and all that good stuff because i wanted to surround myself with this and then judge the fragrance with the whiffs instead of just pointing at one point and doing it again and again i wanted to actually make this part of my day and uh which i did and i actually kind of like lived this this scent a very enjoyable scent um very light very cool nice especially for this weather pretty unisex 100 percent ladies and gents you're gonna rock this a, a, a good day starter i would say because you know this is something that you can go out in the day with the bright sunlight this will shine and rock it i mean there's no uh nothing uncomfortable about the scent to be honest this is not overly sweet pretty balanced yes it is fruity it is sweet it gives you whatever it has to offer like it will give you different you know notes on different fruits it will touch on ah, i got a bit of raspberries i would say i got a bit of cherry um a bit of um apple is loud um yeah i mean not strawberry i would say but yes lychee is is it, it, it's high on lychee it has whatever they've used it's high quality oil it's high quality stuff otherwise notes like lychee notes like apple even lemon i mean we all know this these are like notes which if not done right if not done correctly they can be synthetic when they like on top like when they leave you know when, when the note is low on intensity you know when you smell it it's high and when, when it's leaving it's you know you know that is the point like you know the last point of i don't know whether i'm trying to explain this or not if you know if if a note is starting from here and ending here that in that whiff you know in that ending point within those you know seconds you can tell that the, you know it's a synthetic or it's just not that it, it's not that note it's something different something alcoholic or synthetic about it so these are lighter notes so that was done pretty well there's no nothing nothing wrong about it so yeah so this is my take on 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 this guy uh comes closer to atomic rose i would say 85 to 90 percent this is again high on vanilla and amber this is low probably that is the only difference that intensity difference not the note difference note is pretty neck to neck when when it comes to dry down after after like five hours i, I would say like five i'm talking about like five to more further four hours of mark until it comes completely fades out 
the notes are the same it's just the intensity that you'll feel if you do like a like a dry down test this guy is lighter way more lighter in vanilla and uh amber this is more dense this is more deep has a more character uh obviously so yeah atomic rose uh i had to have this because i mean if i i just went because the reason why is i mean i was wearing this i was like i'm getting the infinite infinity vibes after like five hours from you know pretty much from this guy but is also because the design these guys are not gonna leave in the show i anytime soon i don't know because you know look at these designs it's just it's still being inspired let's use a regular you know casual word copied from an issue right and i mean if they want to do something or play around with the sparkly notes or sparkly scent of lychee apple and all that jazz just create a different bottle and do it right but i mean still sticking up on this still considering um an issue's line or copying and then producing a, a fragrance which is again making a bottle, bottle of red and you know having a main main note as rose because rose is up in the opening it's just a bit lighter but then it is you know stronger up until the end the rose it is a rosy fragrance in the end of the day it's not a fruity fragrance in the end of the day so um yeah it's in that rosy category so um what are they trying to do so you know if you connect the dots you might get to a point that yeah maybe it's atomic rose or maybe it's a different you know version uh or from initio uh perfume uh brand i don't know there are tons of lines but you know it depends on but as far as i searched it even i i, I was also searching about the you know note to note comparison i didn't find any other plummy or um lychee or even rose no in any other lines from initio otherwise it would have popped up anyways good scent here i'm glad i did this this is going out again because i have got no business this um deacon of uh rose atomic rose is a giveaway it's going out to one of you guys make sure you comment me in this video and let your know uh, let me know your favorite scent that you want to see a review of uh because i am in a process of you know kind of like category categorizing scents that you guys are telling me and then you know in the future videos i can kind of like uh compensate in, in them together in a category and then you know review them together or do some kind of like uh you know top 10 or something like that so anyways and obviously it gives me an opportunity there's so many scents that i've picked up that you guys have told me or come up with and i when i put my rose just like this guy infinity rose I, it was not in my uh, radar uh, and and i was still considering a methist as as a as a clone for atomic uh rose but that's not i mean as when this guy came in this just got took everything over by by a storm so yeah this guy all the respect up until now with with atomic rose pretty much neck to neck um I think I guess we're we're done pretty much uh, with this review and uh, good stuff, man. Pick it up like 30, 40 bucks. Uh, quality stuff. This is quality stuff. This is something young teenagers, like boys and girls, like you know, even mature audience. Everyone's gonna enjoy this. It is a mood setter. Let's put it this way. Good day fragrance. Start your day with this and just you know feel bright and feel light. And uh, yeah, and watch for more. This guy is coming out next week in seven days. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the video section in the details of my YouTube studio. We are basically having the results of giveaway 002. And it's this video here. And these are the comments that you guys did and kind of like participated. Thank you so much for this. So what I've done is I've copied each one of your names here and put it here in this spin in the wheel website. I'll just shuffle it up a couple of times. Just make sure your your names are here. Whoever commented. Apparently these seems to be like 13 entries here. 
And yep, yeah, these are all these people here. Some of you have commented twice. I just want to make sure that Robert Latusa is he here? I'm just picking up a name and. Okay, so apparently it looks like Robert commented in a comment of a comment. So I'll just put his name here as well. Okay. All right, so Robert should be here now. Let's do a shuffle again. Just double check if Robert is there. Robert Latusa. Okay. All right. So we have pretty much everyone in. And let's spin the wheel. This is for the results for the giveaway 002. Let's do it. One, two, three. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Mami, you. Mami. Juana. If I'm uh, uh, spelling that right, uh, Mami Juana, thank you, congratulations, perfect. So you are the lucky winner for a Herbivora Deacon. It's a 5ML Deacon going out to you. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be, rec I've just recorded this, I'm going to be making this part of the video which is going to be uploaded tomorrow. And also comment to you here on the video wherever you did or made your comment i think it's up, up in here somewhere i saw it in the beginning um here you are super yummy love all right okay perfect thank you uh mammy who went out you are the lucky winner thank you guys for participating and this is something which is going to be pretty much going on every other week so keep on commenting and you know participating in this so i mean you can definitely be a, a lucky one i don't want to pick and choose myself and i just wanted to make this as transparent as i could and um you know we can always spin the wheel every other two weeks as i said and you could be lucky winner next time all right thank you guys